Today, I'm going to show you how I replaced this broken RV door window trim. All right, so last time we took Chitty Chitty Bang Bang out, guys, uh, this happened. Um, for whatever reason, this piece of the door window trim just completely blew off, so that was fun. And now we've got a hole going into the inside, and I'm sure water can seep down in here. So we're going to try to replace this today. Okay, so what I have here is two window frames. One for the interior and one for the exterior. Now I'll put a link in the description below for these guys because I found them on Amazon. I had started at Camping World um, for help with this, but they pretty much gave me the runaround, said it was impossible to uh, match these up, all kinds of information uh, in order to figure out how to order these. They didn't even stock something like this. So it was very cool that these were on Amazon. I don't know if they'll fit for sure or not, but we're gonna find out. And as you can see, they're only $11 a piece. So fairly inexpensive. So let's see if Amazon comes through for us. Okay, so for the first step, I'm simply just gonna go around and remove all the screws that we've got here and um, we'll get this piece off. Okay, as it's coming off here, we can see that the windows isn't sitting in anything as far as like a track or anything. So I have a feeling it's gonna to wanna to fall right out as soon as we get the last screws out. So be aware of that as you're unscrewing it. Okay, so I was actually able to pull the glass out. So once I got the screws out to about right here, I was able to pull this bottom section out far enough to where I could pull the window out. As you can see here, there's no uh, weather stripping or anything on the new panels. They recommend adding that RV putty tape stuff, so we're going to try that. I'm sure there's other things that you could do that might actually work better. But I'm going to go ahead and get that on here and show you what it looks like once I've got it on. Okay, so this is the inside of the frame here, and I've taken the putty and gone all the way around where it's going to sit up against the uh, fiberglass and where it's actually going to sit against the window. So I'm going to flip this over here, and as you can see, I've got a little overlap on the top, but none here. Um, on the inside. So what I'll end up doing ultimately is just coming back with probably an X-Acto knife and trimming any of that excess off. Okay, now I'm going to get the other one ready and we'll get the window set in here. All right, so now I have the exterior frame um, with the putty tape on it as well as the window put on. Um, and basically the window just kind of rests up against these little tabs here. You can kind of see them sticking up through the putty there. And then there's a couple on the bottom, a couple on the sides. Got them up top and then on the sides over here. So now we're gonna have to be very careful and put this exterior part in first, they say. So that's what we're gonna try to do next. All right, now, as you can see, we've got the exterior part installed and it's kind of being held there by the tape at the moment. Okay, I've got it all screwed in now. I'm gonna go ahead and get an X-Acto blade and trim off the extra um, putty. Well, the Velterra interior and exterior RV door window frame worked perfect. Looks good as new. Remember, everything is linked below in the description. The Valterra interior frame part number A77012 works for a 21 inch high by 12 inch wide inner frame measurement. And the Valterra exterior frame part number A77008 is the match for that same measurement. So if you've got those measurements, this might be a possibility for you if you need to replace this window frame. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified when we upload new videos. Don't forget to smash that like button if this video helped you out, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace!